Hi, my name is Scott Simpson, and today we're going to be talking about exact differential state functions and path dependent functions. So this is for people who are taking physical chemistry, which is typically a junior and senior level course. So uh, let's get to it then. Exact differentials, state functions, and path dependent functions. So in physical chemistry and in thermodynamics, it's extremely important to know if you have a path dependent function or a state function. And the way that these differ is depending on uh, if you have to consider just their initial or final states or if you have to consider the entire route that they take to get from start to finish. So state functions, so changes in state functions. Changes in state functions only depend on the initial and the final state. Initial and final state. Whereas path dependent functions, path dependent functions, they depend on the root. So changes in path dependent functions. between the initial and the final state. Um, so some state functions. That we see commonly in thermodynamics that you probably know of because we only have considered the initial and the final state so far. Things like internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, Gibbs free energy, temperature, pressure, and volume. Those are all examples of state functions that we consider uh, the initial and the final state. For example, a lot of times with pressure volume work, we only consider uh, the initial uh, volume and the final volume to calculate the work being done. However, there are some path dependent functions that show up along the way too. We know, for example, that heat and work are path dependent functions, and we will show that. But how are we to know if something is a path dependent function or if it's a, um, a state function? Well, that's where we use this other test to see if it has an exact differential. So, how are we to know? Well, we have to test to see if the function has an exact differential. So to test, function is a state function. We use the following test. For an exact differential. It's only state functions that um, follow this rule, they have exact differentials. So given we have some function and we're looking at a small infinitesimal change in that function, so our function is df, uh, which is comprised of two other function, functions, g, which depends on x and y, bg, plus h, which also depends on x and y, dh. Then to be an exact differential, we consider you have to the following must be true. Where if we take the differential of g with respect to the variable y holding x constant, that has to be equal to the differential h 
with respect to x keeping y constant. If it isn't true, then it's a path-dependent function. If it is true, then it is a state function. So let's look at an example of this. We're going to consider temperature. And we are, should already know that the answer to if temperature is, a, is or is not a state function, we know that it is a state function, but let's prove it. Uh, we're going to consider that with an ideal gas. So can we show that a small infinitesimal change in uh, temperature is an exact differential for an ideal gas? Given, uh, we're going to keep, we're going to say moles are, don't depend on the temperature, but we're going to say that temperature is a function of volume and pressure. Okay, knowing that we have to get the total differential of our temperature. So, we have dt is going to be equal to the, um, differ, er, the derivative of t with respect to V, keeping P constant, times dV plus the differential of T with respect to pressure, keeping volume constant, dP. Okay, so we have the total differential here. Now we have to define um, our G and our H functions. So in this case, we're going to set uh, G. G is going to be equal to dt, dv, keeping p constant, and h is going to be equal to dt, dp, keeping volume constant. And since we have an ideal gas, we know that pv equals nrt, we're just going back to the original equation of state. If we solve for t, we get pv divided by nr. Okay, now we just have to take uh, the differential, we got to get each of these guys, so we're going to take the differential with respect to volume of that function. So we have differential of volume, keeping pressure constant, PV equals NR. When we do that, P just disappears. Oh, excuse me, we're doing it with respect to V. In that case, V disappears, we get P and R. Great. And we do the same thing for this one. Pressure volume, PV, and R, taking the differential with respect to pressure, pressure is going to disappear, and we end up with V and R. Now what we have to show, we're trying to show we have an exact differential. We have to show that the differential of G with respect to P, keeping volume constant, because initially we took the differential with respect to volume, keeping pressure constant, now we've got to do the opposite has to equal the differential of H, since with H we took with respect to P initially, now we need volume, keeping P constant. We have to show that that is true in order for this to be an exact differential. So, uh, if we take, let's erase this and rewrite some stuff. So we said, that G is equal to P and R. Now we got to look at differential of G with respect to P, keeping volume constant. P, V, we had P and R. If we take the differential with respect to that guy, we get 1 over NR. Okay. Now if we do the same thing for H, we said H was equal to V over NR, taking differential H with respect to volume, keeping pressure constant, we get partial of volume P, V, and R. So in this case, taking the differential, V only appears up top, it doesn't have an exponent, so that ends up being 1, we get NR. And now what we've shown is, is that this is true. Therefore, we have an exact differential. So we have an exact differential.
And what that means is, is that temperature is a state function. So T is a state function. So I hope that is helpful in showing you what an exact differential is and how we have a difference between uh, path-dependent functions and path-independent functions. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can find that in uh, the About section of my YouTube channel, or just feel free to leave a comment. All right, have a terrific day, and I'll see you next time.